Hi. Um, what are we going to do today? It is spring here and it's getting hotter and hotter every day. I'm with my t-shirt. No need for sweaters, no need for scarves. And I need to change my wardrobe a little bit, put all my sweaters and my scarves to sleep for this time of year till the next cold season in like a long time here in Israel. It's around um, only around October, the end of no October and the beginning of November that we're gonna start feeling a little bit cooler. So I want to make some space in my closet and put all the things in bins for the summer and actually for spring, summer and autumn. This is when we do not need them. Uh, so you can join me. So let me take you to my bedroom. And just as we enter, you can see, you can see my socks. <laughs> it is getting hot and my socks are aren't in use need to go to the wash but you can see my scarf to just sit there and wait for colder weather and in my closet excuse the mess this is nice i've already dealt with this but here are all of my sweaters that I've been using for this winter. <laughs> They're all bunched up. And now I'm gonna put them in a bin. There's the bin. <sighs> so this is the bin. Just put it here on the bed. It's a big one. I wanna put here the my scarves and sweaters. So all my scarves, well, it's not all of them, but it is quite a lot. I'm gonna roll them up and put them in the bin for the winter. There's no need for them. So I'll show you some of them. This is the Satellite Shawl by Andrea Mari. This is my big star shawl that I really like. I like wearing it like that. And then tying it around me. But not for this season. This one is also an Andrea Mari one. I really like it. I have two of them, this one and this one. This one I've used with uh, one yarn that changed color. So you can see the transition in color. They are called, I don't remember, sorry. But it is brioche. It's. Uh, it's not all brioche. This, it starts here with um, garter, and then it goes to brioche. Here, you can see it better. This one is the Luna Shawl by Moonstruck Knit. I really like it. It's beautiful. This one is with uh, where you slip stitch, uh, how do you call it? It's color work, but it's 
slip stitch collar work. I, I don't remember the exact term. This one is also brioche. This is my first brioche shawl that I did. I don't remember the name. It's a free pattern on Ravelry. And it's mind blowing. I, well, for me, for the first time that I did brioche, it was, it's very, very uh, advanced brioche. You do increases and uh, it's like cables and and I ran out of yarn in the middle, so, but it's beautiful. I remember when I worked on it, I was so um, into it, trying to understand the pattern because it was the first time for me doing brioche and I had to go for the most complicated one. And I was into it for hours. My partner went to work in the morning, he came back in the evening and I was still in the same position, working on it, like, with that, as, like as if smoke is coming out of my ears. No one could speak with me, but I didn't give up and I finished it. Now it's going to sleep. This is an Andrea Mari uh, Shifty Cow. This is for autumn, the colors. This one is just my own creation. I have no pattern for it, just made it up. I started in here, I think, with a garter and increases. My hair is here. And then I got tired really, really fast. Just started playing with all kinds of patterns, trying it. Did a big garter in the middle and then back and then decreases till the end. The color is beautiful. This one is also an Andrea Mari one. I don't remember the name. And I have two Stephen West shawls here, or more. Well, I did made more, but on this rack, I have only two. This is the I don't remember the name, but it's the one not, it's the one from 2021. And this is the one from 2022. And I never wear them. They just sit on this rack for the winter and then they go to sleep. I don't think they'll come out next season. Maybe this one, this one is pretty. Nice. This is a scarf I just finished. It's a uh, by a Ukraine designer, Tatiana, I don't remember. I wanted white, I really like white. No, I didn't like white for a long time, but uh, then uh, something shifted in my head. I got started to get white in my hair. My complexion changed and now I really like white. So this one, I didn't get to use it just finished it so 
next season. This one is beautiful. It's a lace one. Really pretty. I like doing lace. And at the end, I'm, I've used a color, a changing color yarn from uh, it's cotton. Uh, like maybe f f there is a flower by Schepius or something like that. And it starts here and get darker and darker at the end. I got, I, I didn't have enough. I've used it for something else. I didn't have enough. So I finished with some mohair. The last rounds, I don't know if you can see, I've used mohair. So it has really nice finish. It's nice. I wear it like that. Like a little map. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is not the look, but like, I don't <laughs> This one is my half and half wrap by Pearl Soho, but it's my half is enough. <laughs> my half is enough. I, I, I couldn't do it all. I've, ch I've used all kinds of scrap yarns that I had and uh, I finished a triangle, the big one, and I just didn't want to do the other side, so I bind it off. Somehow, I don't know, I did something. Bind it off. And the colors are great. I like wearing it. It's nice. And half is enough. I've put two eye cords at the end, at each end, so I can tie it so it will not fall. This is my Saturday shrug. Really like this one. Got to wear it. This one is great. Really love it. Beautiful. It will see another season. And this one, one of my first knits. And it's the first one I did that um, I've bought especially the yarn for it. Uh, and I thought I'm using a really luxurious yarn. It was a, um, how do you call it? BK, I don't remember the, the name of the company. It's not Malabrigo. It's like really, it's 50% yarn, 50% acrylic. But for me, it was like, oh, I'm using real wool. 50%, yeah, 50 wool and 50% acrylic. And it's the first time I've used wool. <laughs> it's a really nice pattern. It's, uh, it's got brioche cables that I didn't, it's brioche. I don't know if, if it's brioche. I don't know what it is. It's like cable, but it's two-sided. You can wear it either side. What's that? You can wear it either side. Really nice. I like it. Love it. This is gonna go out again. It's in fashion now, these long ones, and I've done it like five years ago. When you wear it, you hardly see the pattern, but it goes like here. It's nice. 
I like it. This one is also one that I do wear a lot. It's not, uh, it's, a, it's all acrylic, but it's a beautiful pattern. And when I blocked it, I blocked it on a yoga mat, a pink, really cheap yoga mat. And I didn't realize it was pink and the wetness of the yarn over the pink yoga mat left me some st pink stains. I don't know if you can see, it is. But I don't care. And this one is just acrylic crochet cowl that I made up. No pattern, just also it's nice. But it's acrylic, it's not that doesn't give you the snuggly feeling. But it's nice. It's all um, crochet with the granny stitch. And this is just a shirt that I've been looking for a long time. Ta da! Um, I also need to do my sweaters and um, I need another box. Let me see if I have one. Well, I found another box, but it's a bit small. I don't think it will... There's not a lot of space here, but I can try. So I have this one that I finished during the winter. I've enjoyed the knitting very much. I like the pattern. But I do think it's too small or something about it is off. The shoulders are really, really small. It just falls. I didn't put any buttons. Well, it is just for a chilly day around the house. There's no, nothing else to do with it. It's, it's very pretty. I have this one. This is, uh, I don't remember her name. It's a cardigan that I bought a kit for it from the designer. It's beautiful. I never wear it. Never, never, ever. Uh, it's a stick one. It's my first stick. I've learned a lot. It's got this special, uh, I think you call it corrugated rib. I don't know. And it's thick. And I put these buttons with the snap. Snap, you call it. This is how I crochet the where I sticked it. I don't know. I never wear it. The yarn is not so... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what to, what to do with it. It's gonna slip in here. Mm -hmm. 
I have this one. It's an Elizabeth Kramer sweater. It's beautiful. I never wear it. Something about the length is wrong. Maybe I need to shorten it. But it is beautiful. There is this cardigan that I really like and it's great for uh, for the autumn. The colors are autumn's color. This one I really like. Sweater. It's F. It's Apple Cider something Hudson sweater by. It's not Noragon. It's she does a lot of cables. I will try to insert the name or put it in the show notes. This one I wear, but in really, really cold days. And I have this one, it's beautiful. This is the Esther sweater by Kami Lavad. Just look at that. Beautiful color work. This is a great one. I love it. I'm wearing it a lot. This one also an amazing sweater by Petit Neat. It's the caramel sweater. I've made two of them. This is the first one. I love it and I wear it a lot. I really love it. caramel sweater that I've made a little bit different also beautiful I made the color myself I just used scraps and I made some uh, pet it's not a pattern just every color block is uh, circled I don't know uh, bordered by uh, the mate the color of the color and then I just finished with the color that I had a lot though this one is one of my favorites it's called weekend sweater it's a drop design pattern and I've just used the exact colors that the pattern suggests in the exact yarn. It's Charisma Yarn by Drops. It's a beautiful one. And I wear it in the winter quite a lot. This one is uh, Jennifer Steinga's design beautiful also with drop yarn this one is uh the lima i think the lima it's an alpaca yarn it comes only with natural colors it's beautiful and i wear it a lot that's it no more space i need to buy another box because I have quite a lot more sweaters waiting there. 
so this is for now thank you for joining me and i hope to make another uh, episode and uh, knitting that tells you exactly what i'm working on but for now it's enough have a great day wonderful weekend that's coming up and see you soon <laughs>